Governor Christie's made good on his pledge to give some former inmates a better chance of getting work by getting their criminal records expunged. It's part of a trio of bills that would clear more records faster and prohibit employers from discriminating against those whose records have been scrubbed. The bill's a result of meetings with State Senator Sandra Cunningham. She joins Chief Political Correspondent Michael Aaron. Senator, what are you trying to accomplish with these bills on expungement? We're trying to make it easier for people who have made mistakes in their lives to come out of incarceration if they've been um, incarcerated, find jobs, and become productive citizens. Right now, is it a difficult process to get yes, expunged? Yes, it is. Uh, well, yes. Right now, you can only expunge uh, three offenses. Um, we're moving it to four offenses. Um, one offense, rather. Now we're moving it to four. Um, but it's difficult for people. It can be an expensive process. But mostly, it's people who they've spent a lot of their years um, being unproductive. And most people coming out of incarceration, I'd like to say, really want to make a change in their lives. The governor put out a press release saying that he developed these bills in concert with you. That's kind of unusual. Did you work together on this? Uh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. I also worked with many stakeholders. Um, to put some information together and I've sat down with the governor and we talked about it and he listened to what I had to say and what I was revealing to him from the information I'd obtained from my stakeholders. And uh, he listened and he said what he could do and what he could not do and why. So it was uh, a good relationship. Uh, you and he worked together on the ban the box legislation a few yes. years ago, mm -hmm. also making it easier for someone with a criminal past to, to get a job by right. not having to put a check mark in a particular box right. until later in the employment right. process. Is this an expansion of that? Well, what some of the legislation, this new legislation will do, will strengthen Ban the Box. You know, we've found out since Ban the Box came into view that now we have employers who are holding against people if they had their records expunged. So it's a vicious circle that we're dealing with here. So this will strengthen Ban the Box um, and also hopefully open the doors for people the way it's supposed to do. Expungement is supposed to put it away for, for good. You're exactly. Saying, you're saying that an employer can discriminate on the basis of an expunged record? It's, that's what we're hearing, yes, that people are not being called in because they know that they have an expungement. So it's an ongoing process. Uh, you're the chair of the Higher Education Committee yes. in the Senate. You've been working on a student loan, student mm -hmm. debt loan, student loan debt yeah. package of bills. <laughs> right. What are you uh, hoping to do there? Well, you know, we have found that uh, the higher education school um, loan authority, there's been some issues. And uh, a lot of this came to light in uh, a public hearing that uh, Senator Bob Gordon and myself had. And we found that people were having problems trying to figure out how to repay their loans. Um, loans were given to people in some cases who clearly could not afford to uh, to pay back the money at any time. The H-E-S-A-A, the Higher Education yes. Student Assistance Authority, mm -hmm. was the subject of an expose in the New York Times. Exactly. After uh, a student died and uh, the agency hounded the, mo the mother That's right. to pay the debt. That's right. Would your bill uh, yes. eliminate that kind of a situation? Yes, we already did a bill. We've actually done a package of about 17 bills. And one of those bills included legislation that said if the student passed away, then the debt is finished. Has that agency been too aggressive in its collection tactics? Well, I think that they've been very aggressive and, you know, there, there are reasons for it. But yes, I think they have been aggressive. And more importantly, I think that the legislature and the governor's office should be aware of how it's working and should know what's going on. So one of the bills is about transparency. All right. Well, good luck with your legislation on both fronts. Thank you. Senator Cunningham, thanks very much. Thank you.